There may be a hidden danger in some packaged foods labeled organic. A study has found traces of arsenic in foods sweetened with brown rice syrup. You might have some of these products in your pantry right now. Organic cereal bars, perhaps, or even baby formula. So, how can a known toxin and carcinogen be found in so-called health food? Let's talk about that with our CBC medical specialist, Dr. Carl Cabasell. Dr. Carl, how concerned should we be that arsenic is in these foods? Well, this isn't really new. We know that rice can sometimes contain arsenic, and therefore a product that's derived from rice, it's not surprising, would also carry with it some arsenic. Is this the same arsenic that is featured so prominently in mystery movies? <laughs> well, you know what, it, w there are t that's a good point, because there are two types of arsenic that we talk about, the organic and the inorganic. It's the inorganic that's the dangerous one that can, can poison us, can increase our risk of cancer, and, and all, all manner of, of problems. But uh, the issue here is that there are no standards when it comes to food. So whether it's in the U.S. or Canada, we don't have a certain amount of arsenic that's considered acceptable in food in the way that we have it for water, drinking water. Ah, okay. So let's talk about how much is in there. You said it comes through, rice is very good at, at absorbing arsenic. How does it, it get is. into the food? Well, arsenic occurs naturally in, in water and in soil, and so when you're growing rice, it actually, for whatever reason, biologically, is able to extract a lot of that arsenic from its environment. And, you know, so whether there's arsenic in the water or in the soil, it can get into rice. Okay. Is the brown rice unsafe? Well, it's, I wouldn't say it's unsafe. So. The, the uh, limits for drinking water are 10 parts per billion. That's what's considered safe by sort of the, the public health agencies that set these limits. Uh, what we're talking about, though, in terms of the actual risks is a, level, a high level of arsenic exposure over a long period of time. So having one you know, uh, power Cereal. bar or, yeah. or bowl of, of formula is not really going to do anything in the short term. But if you're consuming a lot of arsenic over a long period of time, that can be problematic. How? Well, what happens is it accumulates in your body. And it can, uh, the, the example that we use for cancer is that 10 parts per billion, remember that number, that's the safe number for our water. Imagine um, 35 times that amount in drinking water. That's what was observed in Taiwan when they found an increased mm. risk of cancer of the bladder, of the lung, and of the uh, liver. So what we're talking about is we have a nice margin of safety built into our drinking water guidelines. Mm. But over time, at higher levels of, of arsenic, we, there's not only the cancer risk, but it can affect our digestive tracts. It can be toxic to our nervous system. And there is some evidence that for kids, for small children, yeah. uh, it can affect their IQ in the long term if they're exposed to high levels over yeah. a long time. I was going to say, if, a ch if you're talking about feeding this to a baby, mm -hmm. I mean, they're not fully developed yet, so there might be special risks there. That's right. right. So so what we're assuming here is that, yes, uh, you know, there are higher levels of arsenic than perhaps uh, some people are comfortable with, but we're also assuming that people aren't consuming these products every day at, at, in large amounts. Mm -hmm. So until we have some sort of guidelines that tell us what is the safe amount in food and what balance of organic and inorganic arsenic is, is considered safe, mm -hmm. it's a little difficult to know, you know, what to do with this information at this point. Yeah, I'm wondering, and now let me just be clear, maybe you answered this, but between the talking about the cereal bar, bars and the baby formula, I get a little confused. Mm -hmm. Is brown rice itself okay, or is that the, the origin of it? Well, so if somebody's on a diet and they're eating brown rice all the time because we've been told white rice is so bad for us, right. what's the deal with that? Well, so rice in general, as a, as a sort of native species in the soil can extract arsenic from okay. its environment. When you talk about white rice versus brown rice, white rice is basically the same product, it's just it's been polished and a lot of the, the, the whole grain has been removed. Unfortunately for brown rice, uh, the parts that remain are the parts that can have higher levels of arsenic in it. So theoretically brown rice would have more arsenic in it. Mm. But again, we're not clear at this point how much is too much or how much is safe or not safe. Okay, so just be mindful of that there's a potential risk and maybe cut down the intake over time. Yeah, and you can do that if you're concerned by reading labels and look for rice, rice flakes, organic uh, brown rice syrup. The word rice usually appears in the ingredient uh, in question. And if it's one of the top, let's say, three or five ingredients, then you know that there may be a higher amount of rice in that product. All right, thanks for the information, Dr. Carl. Thank you. CBC Medical Specialist Dr. Carl Cabasel joining me live in Toronto.